Hey Aquarius, and welcome to your December 2016 general tarot forecast. This is Sky, and I'm here to give you guys hopefully another amazing reading. So before I get started on y'all's reading, I wanted to tell you guys about some of the changes that will be happening on my channel and on my shop. Um, going into the new year, I'm going to be changing up a little bit how I perform the readings, and I also want to start an introduction to tarot series where I talk about my experience with the tarot and, you know, just general archetypes represented in the tarot and what knowledge and wisdom I've gained on them. If that's something that interests you guys, like or comment on this video. Also, um, my rate will be going up that I do for private readings, and that's because of the volume of people who are seeking out private readings, along with how busy I will be at the start of the new year. So, um, if you guys would like to jump over to my shop and book a reading with me now, before my rate goes up, you will retain that reading, that, that rate. I always allow that my clients retain the rate that they seek me out at. So, if that's something that's interesting to you, you can jump over and book a reading with me. And I think that about covers it, so let's see. Without further ado, let's see what's coming forward for Aquarius for December 2016. So right at the center of your reading, you've got the Empress in reverse, and it is your only major arcana card this month, so it kind of gives that much more of an impact. Um, there's a sense of, you know, magnetism, or fertility, attraction, the whole feminine principle that um, is kind of being turned on its head for you. Maybe the you're having potentially some conflict with women in your life or people with a feminine presence. Um, for the female Aquarius out there, maybe some people are saying that you use that to your advantage. Um, this could be people saying that you use your looks for you, to your advantage. Um, at a more serious level, this could be problems with fertility. Maybe some of the female Aquarius out there are trying to get pregnant, but you're having problems with your fertility. So that's a possible. Or it could just be any kind of female um, issue potentially going on with the female Aquarius. So um, for the male Aquarius, I see this, again, as potentially struggles with um, female figures in your life. So um, keep that in mind. And that's just kind of the first thing that I that pops into my head when I see the Empress in reverse at the center. Um, more than just the feminine issues, though, the Empress also can represent financial stability as well. And since you guys have the Ten of Pentacles right on top of the Empress, I think that you guys will really be taking um, a new perspective on the way that you look at your finances, too. There could be a female in your life who very much affects your finances. This could be anybody. It could be a friend, a wife, a mother, any kind of relationship that you can think of. But she's potentially causing a negative outcome on your finances or doesn't approve of the way that you spend your money. That's possible. Um... And you guys also have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, so you could be very spendthrift right now. Um, you could be spending a lot of money or find yourself... M money is definitely a theme this month coming into December. Maybe you are spending a lot on Christmas gifts for those around you. And um, that could potentially be putting a strain on some of your relationships or your long-term relationship could be experiencing a bit of strain due to the money that you're spending or that someone in your life is spending. Um, for the single Aquarius out there, there could be a new fire-type energy coming into your life by the King of Wands. This is an adaptable, mature, passionate, masculine energy, whether it be male or female, who is coming into your life to help you to adapt to something else. And if you're not interested in a relationship with this person, this person is going to help you recalibrate your aspirations and your goals. Or if you're struggling to move fluidly through your life because you are a fixed sign, this person is coming into your life to help you adapt to a new way of being, to kind of make something click into place. That's my major interpretation for the King of Wands. It's a person or an energy who comes into your life, oftentimes very temporarily, to help something click into place, to help something adapt. Because underneath the surface, things aren't quite as easy as they seem. You've got the Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups. They're kind of opposite energies in the cup suit. Because for me, the Nine of Cups represents abundant good luck, whereas the Four of Cups kind of represents abundant bad luck. And I don't mean that, you know, 
define good or bad luck. You know, we all end up on a path, and sometimes things that seem good or bad are not that way. So the Four of Cups is all about um, solitude. It's all about... It can be the home structure. I think of the fourth house, and I think of the sign Cancer when I think of the Four of Cups. So it's all about your inner sense of being, your inner home, how you, like your body is your temple type of thing. And a lot of times when the Four of Cups pops up, it's saying that you need to um, kind of reconnect with yourself. You need to maybe establish a more healthy dialogue with yourself. There could be a kind of severe dialogue that you have with yourself and this may be kind of inhibiting your ability to actually manifest what you want on the physical world. <clears throat> so the Four of Cups is there to fix that. The Four of Cups has come into your life for you to change that, and that could be why you're struggling in the relationship field, whether that be in love relationships, mm -hmm. familial relationships, or friendship relationships. Mm -hmm. Um, this could be the reason that, and my phone is vibrating, so I'm going to take that as a bit of validation that um, this is on the money. So there's a struggle in relationships, right, Aquarius? There's something that's not clicking, something that's not adapting right or calibrating right within your relationship field. Um, and, you know, that's all about the Empress reversed. You know, just c completely removing gender from the whole thing. The, the Empress reversed talks about relationship struggles. You know, the whole one of the archetypes for me of the Empress reversed is that person who falls in love with somebody, and but it's not so mutual. And it's like you're always maybe texting this person, like my phone just vibrated, so maybe you're just awaiting for the messages to come back. Maybe you're sending messages to somebody and you just kind of sit there and you just wait and you wait for the messages to come back and you like let your heart get really involved with it. And this is what and this is the four of cups too. It's kind of waiting. It's you're alone and you're kind of waiting for these messages to come through with this person that you love, but they just don't come through and it's kind of heartbreaking for you. Some Aquarius could find themselves in that position. In December, or maybe you're coming from that in the recent past too. Um, I think the main message is is there's a lot to learn in that state. When you're sitting alone and you're waiting for these messages to come through, there's something that's going to like click. There's something that's um like you'll find yourself in the nine of cups. Like you realize when you're alone and you're not having that outward stimulation, you're like whoa, there's a lot of problems here. Whoa, there's a lot of things that I need to work on, like at the internal level. No wonder my relationships aren't working out. I'm so, like, I'm not stable. I'm not solid. I'm, or I'm too solid. I'm too stable. It could be either one. And I'm not, I'm not letting spontane, I'm not embracing spontaneity because you are a fixed sign. So sometimes it can go that way. Like you're too prepared. You're too organized. You're too fixed. You're too hardened. Um, <clears throat> So I think, and then all of a sudden you'll find yourself in the Nine of Cups where you suddenly have like these realizations and you're like, wow, this is amazing. Like I'm sitting here alone and I'm not getting what I want, but there's something about that that's making something click for me because that's what the King of Wands is all about. And maybe when you finally have that moment, Aquarius, where you realize how things are stacking up, all of a sudden this King of Wands will manifest as an actual person in your life who comes in and really helps you to actually adapt in reality and manifest that adaption on the outer world okay and because you have the ten of pentacles at the very top of your reading which is a really amazing energy i think it's probably the most enjoyable of the tens you know maybe the ten of cups too but i think the ten of pentacles is the most um sturdy and the most stable of the ten energies um so there's something that has to do with like your emotional security and your financial security. They're very connected for you. That's what I that's what I interpret from the nine of cups being at the base and the ten of pentacles being at the crown, the top. There's something inherently related about how you make your money and how finan and how emotionally stable you are. So maybe, you know, having this moment of solitude like I talk about, whether you're even in the dating phase or whether you've chosen to be single or whether you're happily married, um, when you're alone, there's something about that and something in that p 
place that you can use to make more money. I don't know what it is. Maybe you can start a personal business, maybe some Aquarius. That could be the King of Wands too. It can also be a project or an undertaking or a creative burst of energy. Um, but materializing that and being mature with that, not like the Page of Wands where it's just that burst of energy and it doesn't really go anywhere necessarily. The King of Wands still has that burst of energy, but it's more mature and it can be more manifested. Um, so maybe you have new ideas when you're alone like this, new ideas of um, how to manifest your creativity. And there could be some Aquarius who are also in like a convenient marriage that and I don't want to say that for sure but when I see the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles together like that's one of the first things that I think is that you know this person is potentially in a marriage of convenience and they don't there might not be that love there there might be a feeling of solitude or maybe the person that you're with is working a lot maybe they're making good money but you're left alone all the time and that's affecting the marriage or the partnership um, you know, you're, you feel very financially stable, but your emotional stability is leaving because you're always having to be alone and you're worried about, you know, the strength of the marriage if you can never be with this person or the strength of the partnership. That's an energy that's coming forward in December. But you do get, like, the other thing could be to make sure that you're looking at the glass half full instead of half empty. Um, there are definitely some really nice abundances in December Aquarius and make sure that you're not choosing to look at the loss instead of the abundance like it's good to acknowledge both but try to be more optimistic would be helpful as well <clears throat> because you know you guys have a good balance of energy like the, these cards coming together none of them are really hard none of them are extremely easy so they're kind of you know, gray, gray area energies, and that can be a very relaxing time if you channel them correctly. That can be a very recharging, um, you know, time where a lot of, where traumatic things aren't happening, where you can really just take time to float a little bit. And that's what a lot of Aquarius should do. You should float for a little while, let things be easy, and just kind of see where, where you find yourself. Um, in the healthiest way possible. That doesn't mean to, you know, um, slack on all of your commitments and not, and lay in bed all day. That's not at all what I'm saying, but energetically and emotionally allowing yourself to just kind of drift and be fluid. Cause that's what you are. You're the water bearer, but that's difficult because you're a fixed sign too. So you've got that fixed sense of fluidity that Aquarius are always struggling with. And um, how that kind of turns into an unhealthy detachment sometimes, so watch out for that. But all in all, I think it's going to be a really good month for you guys. It's going, it's not going to be particularly hard or particularly easy, so, you know. And if this reading really resonated with you guys, which I hope that it did, you can jump over to my shop and book a reading with me to retain my price as what it currently is. Also, if you want to support my channel, that will be in the card section or if you click on my channel you can support it which is so helpful to me and I appreciate every small donation and if you haven't subscribed yet there will be a lot of fun new content more than just readings coming in the near future likewise like and comment on this video I love to hear how these energies are turning out for you guys I hope that December is really great and I will see you guys on the other side of the new year bye